Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. In here we're going to be talking about the Thermo 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction. This is quite different from the regular photochemical 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction and this one in here which is Thermo, we are going to focus on two species that are actually electrophile. Now let's look at this first species over here. One of these species is called a dimethyl ketene and this particular compound has a chemical structure which has the oxygen double bonded with the carbon and this carbon has also another double bond with a carbon over here now this is quite interesting because this carbon has two double bonds attached to its size over here and we have another species which is also an electrophile like this one and this one that I'm going to draw now is an isocyanate and this isocyanate has another structure which is quite similar to it but the only difference is is that the carbon that's attached double bondedly with the oxygen is attached double bondedly with a nitrogen over here and the nitrogen over here is attached to this particular redrawing group over here so anyways these two species over here they are electrophilic and both of them can actually react with a specific alkene so this simple alkene can be in this particular manner for example for the dimethyl keta we have this one over here and the other one here we can just choose let's say um, this other compound over here with our group over there so in terms of this actually subjected to a thermal process the thermal process we're just going to have this actually forming a bond here and this actually forming a sigma bond over there and the same thing apply, applies to this we have this forming a sigma bond over here and uh, right on the other side we have this forming a sigma bond over there so you're going from double bond to sigma bond on both cases over there now our product in the first part will be this by heat we get this compound with our oxygen over there and we have our compound over there uh, on the other side we do have this subjected to heat to form this compound over here so 2Cl and over here is our, our compound now what is special in this particular compound like that forms this particular product over here the thing that is actually special is this electrophiles that I actually specified over here this electrophile and that electrophile now if you look at it in their specific MOs and looking at the MOs surrounding this particular carbon what we realize is that for the keta which is the first one ketene what we realize is that the R group which is attached to one of the carbon has the p orbitals that are pointing in one direction and this is actually parallel to the carbon over here p orbital over there now on the other case this carbon that we are actually looking at in focus has another p orbital that is perpendicular to this particular orbital over there 
yeah this is a fun drawing all this with the same color now this part here is our oxygen atom so these guys two obros here they are actually parallel and they are in phase with respect to each other while this other part over here is perpendicular to this one and this one is in phase with respect to this other p orbital over there now this same scenario is actually applicable to the isocyanate over here now i'm going to try and draw it for you guys just for you to see clearly so for the isocyanate we have our our group positioned with the nitrogen and this nitrogen is attached to the carbon and this carbon is attached to the oxygen over here where this P orbital is parallel to this P orbital on this carbon and this P orbital is perpendicular to the other P orbital that is here but parallel with the one on the oxygen so if you shade it the black ones are in phase and while the red one out of phase I mean with respect to this but they are in phase with respect to the parallel ones so that is the MO in this particular case and when these two species they actually interact with the alkane that is the simple alkane what we realize is that first of all what we have let's look at how the reaction occurs now what we realize is that this region here is our p orbital and they are in phase with respect to each other but now when you rotate this 90 degrees around this particular axis over here what we get is this pointing upwards now once this points upwards what do we do we add our lumo of the other alkane to this particular compound over here which is the p orbitals over there so what we get is the addition of our p orbital of the other alkane to the one that we had here now this is out of phase with respect to this because this we are focusing on the lumo so while this is the lumo this other one here is the homo now what do we see here we realize that there is bonding happening here and there is bonding happening here so this bonding will actually help in the smooth overlap between one of our alkane and the other dimethylketone or an isocyanate over there however there is something quite different in this particular process over here we have an opposing case where we won't have bonding here because this is out of phase with respect to that and this is out of phase with respect to that now what do we do to overcome this what we do is to add another p orbital from the other pi bond which is what we talked about over here so this is the other p orbital over there that will be added so what we do is let me redraw this this one over here assuming is the ketene over there so the ketene we have the p orbitals 
here that are parallel with respect to each other but then we have the other arcane over in here so this shaded out of phase with respect to this over here but then I'm adding a P orbital now this P orbital is pointing upwards so like this one that is actually positioned over there like that is being translated over to this particular case or I'll just do this yes like that so by that way we can be able to actually enhance the bonding state in this particular case and decrease the level of the anti-bonding so that is about it for this particular video if you want me to draw specifically how this is drawn in a 3d scenario i'll just kind of specify it for you so let's just blow this over here and it to be something like this so we're gonna have p shaded and the other case over here out of phase with respect to that which is what you have over here this line and this is attached to that and while in the other case we have this particular one that is pointing up which is drawn like this and like that now this is shaded and this is shaded so this part are homo and while this red one is the lumo side so i'll attach this to that which is the oxygen part attached to the oxygen this is the carbon and this i'll call either nitrogen or carbon with respect to this or that now when you introduce your arcane other species what we have is let me just use red for the sake of this particular diagram we have this and we have this so while this is lying a little bit 90 degrees or aligned in this particular position over here this is actually other species laying down more vertically while this is laying down or horizontally while this is laying down a little bit slightly in a way in such a way that we will enhance the homo overlap with the lumo section over here and slight overlap with this homo Oh, yeah by the addition of the extra p orbital over there so by shade this and shade this there will be overlap with this and with this and there will be over, over, overlap with this and this over here so this will show you this shows actually the homo lomo bonding that's occurring in here so thanks for following me through this trailer appreciate it see you on my next video be smart bye